Hi, I am going to be making some cookies today. I had a hankering for cookies and I didn't want to pull out all my ingredients so I decided to give this a try. Um, I just, from my haul that I just did, I ended up getting this chocolate fudge cake mix. So I'm going to use a cake mix as the base and I'm going to put in a can of canned pumpkin. This is what I had this in my pantry. Um, I had some mini chocolate chips. This is a cup of mini chocolate chips. Uh, I think I got these from Aldi. And I have a cup of, these are hazelnuts that I happen to have in my freezer. Um, if you don't like nuts, I guess you could just leave, leave them out or substitute another nut. So this is the nut I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using some pumpkin pie spice. So for those five ingredients, I will make a cake mix. I've already put this in the bowl, so I'm going to have to um, put the other things in. And I'll probably have to have, there's my one cup of that, and I will have to come back with the other things. I want to take these and chop them up a little bit so they're not as whole, so I will do that. And I will get everything else in the bowl and then start to stir it up and get everything cooked so we can enjoy these cookies soon. All right, hold on. Um, a little tip for um, doing a small quantity of nuts that you want to crush up a little bit. I actually saved the cake mix um, container or you know the thing that held the cake mix in it. So I just cut, up, cut it off and I saved this as my little bag to put my nuts into. And then I'm gonna use this and my other, I'll use one hand and I'll hold the bag down and then hit it with my little mallet. So let me do that so I'm filming one-handed and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I crushed it up. It was really easy to do. You can see they're all sort of well, some of them are more crushed up than others, but I just used this. I can't remember where I got this. This is actually something uh, that I've had for a long time. I didn't use the heavier part. I just used the side of it, but it's just a really handy little tool. If you don't have something like that, then, you know, you could use a, a, um, a hammer or rolling pin. Um, rolling pin would be a little harder with an open bag, though. But anyway, that's it. So I'm going to pour all of this in here. And if you're wondering, I ended up putting in two teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, throw in some cinnamon. Uh, or you could use a combination of cinnamon allspice, nutmeg, if you have those. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, most likely you probably just have cinnamon, which is absolutely fine because the allspice and nutmeg, they're more specialty uh, spices and a lot of people don't have those in the, um, you know, in your cabinet or pantry, spice cabinet readily available. So I'm going to stir this up, uh, preferably with my spatula rather than my spoon, and I will get back and show you what it looks like in just a minute. Okay, I wanted to just pop back in and show you. This is a very thick, see how it like doesn't come off the, um, the spatula easy. easy. So you had to mix it up, just incorporate it really well so you don't really see any more um, you know, flowery-like um, cake mix. And I'm gonna put it on these uh, parchment-lined pans. I love these jelly roll style pans. They're like excellent for cooking all kinds of things. Uh, frugal tip, I like to save my parchment paper and fold it up and use it, reuse it again if there's no greasy, you know, gross stuff on it. If I just baked some bread or did some cookies previously, I might use it. And you can use this many times over before you have to throw it out. If you have one of those Silpat, I think they're called Silpat, you know, the silicone mats that they sell, that would be very good to use as well. Or you could spray it and just wash the pan. Okay, I'm back and I've cooked both batches. Um, some of them have already gotten eaten. <laughs> My son came along and snatched a few. Um, I just wanted to point out, um, if you can see here, some of them are a little puffier 
like these few are puffier and these are basically just dropped on the cookie sheet like these are and the other ones um, I decided after five minutes I would push them down um, with a spatula because when you put them on the um, when you put them first on your baking sheet they're very very sticky so um, you could flour or sugar a bottom of a cup and then just use that to flatten it but I didn't want to do that so after five minutes I opened up the oven and I basically pushed these down with a spat the back of a spatula and it worked fine so I think I actually prefer them flat so that's flat and then this would just be puffier they are a softer cookie um, just to let you know so I will be right back with the with my cup of coffee all right okay I am back and here I am enjoying a little uh, mid-afternoon snack so here's two of the cookies and they they are just delicious delicious bring them over to the light a little bit yep very yummy so I give these a thumbs up I will try these again uh, if you've actually made any other ones using cake mixes what are some of your flavor combinations so let me know in the comments thank you for watching please like and subscribe all right, thanks for visiting, bye.